All right, guys, so calculated items, and uh, this will be quite an easy topic, uh, basically for the beginners, so nothing complicated, uh, just using the same native functionality of the Zabbix. I do have an installation of 4.4 .4 in place, but same applies also to the previous versions. Um, that's a CLI of the CentOS 7 where everything is installed, but 99% uh, of we won't even have to use any uh, shell uh, during this video, so just the front end. And uh, I will post also the link from the documentation about a calculated item, so there will be something for you to read, but uh, mainly I will try to cover everything in this video. So, uh, why do we need to calculate items? Uh, we know already like many many items, uh, Zabbix agent, SNMP checks, uh, SSH, Telnet, external scripts, user parameters, all the different methods how we can get data from devices, from our data sources. But sometimes, as example in this case, we need to do some calculation with already collected data. So we get the data from our hosts, we store the data inside the database, and then we can still operate with this data to do some mathematical functions, calculations to receive some uh, basically aggregated data. Uh, first of all, uh, in this video we will be doing this on the same host on the Zabbix server in the items and uh, what I will be doing so net if uh, we do have two items created from our network discovery rules that are calculating incoming and outgoing traffic on my virtual machine so what we will try to do in this video is create a calculated item that will measure the total traffic on this interface on my virtual machine and to do that we need to click uh, create a new item like normally of course the best practice is to do that inside the template um, you could also do that as an item prototype on the low-level discovery rule if you don't know what is low-level discovery rule then just check the previous videos. Uh, for now, for the example, just a regular item and uh, type, right? So you've used to, you need to select the type how you will be collecting the data. And here, of course, you need to choose calculated. Uh, most important thing is, remember, this is calculated check. We are operating with already collected data. Calculated check is uh, processed only by the Zabbix server. Zabbix agent not involved. Zabbix proxy not involved. Um, connection to some kind of the remote host is not required. What calculated check does, it takes the data from the database, not from the host. So it was already collected by some other items and stored in Zabbix database. So we take this data and do the calculation. So type is calculated, name, uh, again, whatever you want, uh, let's call it calculated item for video. Uh, key, so this might be the first like frustrating thing for uh, beginners, like you know that key defines what um, what data we will be getting, like net if in is for incoming traffic, net if out is for outgoing traffic. Uh, system system memory sizes for the for the memory of the virtual or physical machine and so on and so on so what should be the key in this case for a calculated item so in calculated items the key is basically just a placeholder it is still mandatory so you do have to use it but it can be anything so as long as it follows the syntax of the keys uh, inside a Zabbix, you're gonna be fine. It's absolutely the same as for the SNMP. Uh, you must use the key, but it will not uh, determine or, or uh, do anything. The most important thing in the calculated items is the formula. So this, this is new field, like if you would click on the Zabbix agent or SNMP, you would not see the formula field. So here we actually write what, uh, what we will be doing with the values and which values, so from which items, from which hosts. Uh, how to do that, the syntax, you can take a hint uh, from documentation, there are a couple of examples, and this is basically what we're going to need, so sum of two functions, uh, net if in, ethernet zero, and ethernet uh, net if out. 
So we can copy paste this and this is something similar to the trigger expression but uh, probably not really and we cannot leave this as it is we still need to do the modifications and uh, I'm gonna need just another tab with my items so items uh, key net if and uh, there we go these two items right interface NP okay my dog is making some strange noises uh, we're gonna need these two keys so net if in and net if out remember that key must be exactly the same in the calculated item as you have it inside the inside the normal host like if it is like this then you must use it exactly the same inside a calculated if you will uh, make the same without the quotes but here on the host we do have quotes it will not work so this basically is a reference that we are taking the values from this item second one this so we got an incoming then we need an outgoing plus uh, I will explain this uh, this so two keys from my host incoming and outgoing traffic what I am doing this uh, same as trigger function you know dot last function uh, like uh, this one which is taking the last received value of an item and analyzing it as a trigger same applies here last received value of this item which is this item which you can easily check the latest data plus last received value sorry last received value of this item which is this one which for which we again can check the latest data uh, as in the examples you can also use like average then after a comma here you need to specify average for which period so if I want to do an average in my case then I need to do it average and here after my key um, let me double check here after a comma I need to specify a period so for five minutes average of five minutes plus last received value of this item if you define a last then it is just one value and there is no need to specify a second parameter as a time period for which you want to do the calculation okay another tricky part is these quotes quotes around uh, your item key which you are taking be careful with these like sometimes you need them sometimes you don't in this case since we have uh, parameter brackets inside our original key we probably need them uh, but uh, just be careful if you did the configuration and you feel that everything is absolutely correct but still you're getting item not supported uh, with the error message cannot evaluate function then most likely uh, problem is with with the quoting another thing like uh, so we did the formula we did the key we are almost ready but a couple of other parameters like uh, type of information we can take a look on our let's say incoming item right uh, the item type the value type will remain the same so it is numeric unsigned uh, numeric unsigned units uh, units bytes per second so we can copy paste this uh, update interval may be uh, 20 seconds what else here in the pre-processing on my original item I have a two pre-processing rules change per second and custom multiplier to 8 because we are receiving data as bits and we need to calculate it as bytes do we need to specify them here in my calculated items and the correct answer is no we don't because these pre-processing steps they are applied to our original items and with these changes with change per second with custom multiplier by 8 already saved inside a database so these pre-processing steps are already applied to the data that we will be using inside our calculated item but uh, then like why do we need the units 
uh, just like here because units are used only for the visualization. So here, this BPS does not change how the data is stored inside the database. It is only for the visualization inside the front end. That's why we also need to do the same in my calculated item. And uh, okay, I think that's actually it. So I can add my calculated item. You can see item was added. Uh, just to make everything faster, I will force uh, config cache reload. Uh, then I can go to my front end and search for my calculated item, click check now, and then we can check uh, the latest data. Uh, calculated, it is not supported, so we will have some troubleshooting example. Incorrect function last. Uh, expression check expression part starting from net if in so probably I missed something so lost plus lost uh, what what could be wrong here you know I have a I have a suspect in this in these quotes just like I told you but uh, we, we can check lost plus lost should should be fine update check now uh, let's try to find it incorrect function lost expression I will also do this administration general so this is just for the troubleshooting refresh unsupported items one second uh, configuration host I made the changes to the Zabbix so config cache reload because I changed the key. Uh, name calculated search and check now again. All right. Uh, incorrect function last check expression starting from net if in. So it's still see the error messages with the forward quote, just like it was before I applied the changes. So there we go, item became enabled. So we received the next value and there we go, the actual value. So the problem was with the quotes around the key that I copied from my host. Like, uh, I think that it's because of uh, the quote around parameter. Like if we would not have these, then we would be able to use it here. Uh, but yes, so th this is the tricky part. Sometimes you need them, sometimes you don't. And uh, there we go, so the calculated value. And the last thing, uh, just to be able to show it, I will change the name to ANP, uh, yeah, just this one, just so I can filter out all three items um, in the latest data, like this. So bits received, okay, um, how can I see it? All right, so bits received, bits sent, and total, right? So 7, 92, and the total is 150, which is uh, wrong, right? So I can refresh now, and I have 1.8, 1.5, and total is 60, which is, uh, again, wrong. Refresh again, 7, 3, 57. 8, 51, 57, and 7, 51, 57.95. So what's actually the problem? Why they are not precise? Why there are some issues? 3, 56, so this looks correct, right? Uh, 59.99. Because of the update intervals, uh, we have a function last inside uh, our our calculated item and let me bring this in front so let's say we have our regular uh, hold it like this net if net if in and net if out which has uh, I don't remember I think it's five seconds update interval on all of them and then we have uh, our calculated item and what do we normally expect that uh, each of these goes in cycles, right? Got a value, five seconds. Got a value, five seconds. Same applies for this. Got a value, five seconds. And we always inside this calculated want to receive this. 
new cycle, new iteration, this plus this. Waited five seconds, new cycle, new iteration, so this plus this. But it's not true, it doesn't work like that because we have update interval 20 seconds on the calculated item, uh, something around 5 or 15 or 10 seconds on our regular items, and update interval is just the time to wait since the last check, so it's not based on the clock. And very often, especially depending how your update intervals are differing, you will get a situation that... Um, I will make another one, so 5 seconds, uh, receive value, receive value. You will get a situation that calculated item at a moment when it will be initiated will gather the last received value of net if in, and this one will not be arrived yet, so it's not here. And at the moment of calculated check, the last received value of net if out is this one. But when I click the refresh, this already arrived. And that's why our total does not match uh, this plus this that we can do easily in the front end. So that's, it's not like really an issue because you're missing just one iteration and in general uh, data is correct, but in the front end it looks wrong. And if you want to avoid it, as much as possible, instead of using update intervals, you need to use uh, custom intervals inside the calculated item and inside your regular items for net if in and for net if out, because this is based on the clock. So it's a bit more precise than just uh, update interval and you will have less cases when uh, your calculation will seem wrong in the front end. If you still want to use update intervals, then I just recommend to have, let's say, some, uh, some time to wait uh, after check of these items and till the check of the calculated items. So, yeah. But again, it's, it's not a big problem. Like, it, it's still going to be fine in the triggers. Uh, mostly, this thing is just confusing when you uh, check the latest data to check what you configured and you see that there is a difference and you think that you made something wrong with a formula or, or like that. But no, it's, it's fine. Right, so uh, yeah, that was it for today's video about a calculated items. And uh, just like usual, click the like, subscribe buttons, and uh, if you do have any questions, then just post them in the comments. I will try to answer them just like usual. Uh, thank you guys, and see you later. Goodbye.